So you may have been told you have a deviated septum. So septum is just a Greek word for divider, and it's the divider that separates the right nose from the left nose. It's made of bone and cartilage. The septum basically can fall to the left or fall to the right with almost minimal trauma when you're younger. So most people that have a deviated septum don't remember when the trauma occurred. Whenever it's deviated, and this is a picture of the inside of the nose right here, this is the right nose and the left nose, a speculum is being used to look. This is a septum that's right in the middle where it's supposed to be. When the septum's deviated, it literally sticks out into the airway and it'll bang into the turbinates on the side wall. That's going to occlude the nasal airway and you won't be able to breathe. I've seen patients years and years, they're saying, uh, I've taken this antihistamine or that nasal steroid and you know, it doesn't seem to work for my allergies. And then I'll say, well, what complaint do you have with your allergies? And they say, I can't breathe out of my left side. And then I use a little speculum and I look inside and there's a big piece of bone and cartilage hanging right out to the nose and they didn't know it was there. So how do we go about fixing that? Basically in the past, and I've been doing this for more than 20 years, uh, it was a big surgery. So general anesthetic and lots of recovery, packing, splinting, black and blue bruising. The modern technique's totally different. So in our office, just under IV sedation, I can go in with a small telescope. I can make about a two or three millimeter incision. You can get in underneath the lining that covers that bent bone and cartilage, and I have little instruments just to adjust it back to the midline. Then we put the lining back down, and I put one dissolvable suture on the inside of the nose, so no packing, no splinting. Um, almost everybody can just go right back to work the following day. Feels kind of like a mild cold for three to five days. The vast majority of patients don't require any pain medication for it at all and people looking at you when you're at work the next day don't know we've done anything. So if you've been, you know, blocked up forever and medicine doesn't work, you probably have a structural issue. Coming in, letting us look with a telescope using our little CT scanner, we'll find that and it can be easily addressed with an office procedure.